get to tell our stories as a comedian and as an actress as well? Yeah, very lucky. How blessed. Very, very blessed. I'm grateful. Thank you. For my life and everything. Ne? Because um, luck can be haphazard. Yeah. But blessed, because yeah. you're using the talents of Pung Tiko mm -hmm. to heal us through storytelling. How do you so navigate much. between the two? Do you have a favorite way of expressing yourself? I know it's unfair because I hate it when people <laughs> ask me that question. I was about but I to have ask to ask you. you that question. I was about to ask you, do you have a favorite? <laughs> I know it's unfair. I know it's unfair. Uh, I think comedy becomes first purely because of the of the ownership of the narrative. Yeah. I know I own what I say on stage. Yeah. Versus with acting, someone wrote the script, someone yeah. Explain to me how the character, how they want the character to be. The director told me how they wanted to come out and what feelings to feel. So there's a level of being uh, selective with what you choose with the people that you portray. Yeah. But with comedy, I'm the storyteller. Mm -hmm. I, I'm in control of the narrative. Yeah. If I want to show light of South African women as the best women with the best budong of dong, that does not have a doctor involved. <laughs> just, Hello. Just Jay. They hey, must know. Minan. They must know. So I have, I have a way of saying, now I'm uplifting our women. Yeah. Now I'm ridiculing someone. So the, even the tone, the intention, the everything, the storyline, the, the everything re resides with you as a comedian. Yeah. So I guess that's the, the, the fact of ownership. I've got you. Can make me choose comedy. But really, it's the same. Because you get to express yourself in the different voices you've been blessed with. Thank you. How would you like us to remember you after we've heard those voices and they still resonate in our hearts? And sometimes we'll get a flashback, we'll hear your laughter and we'll be like, Yeah, not what I'm scared Do you know what I'm saying? There's so much you've given us, Celeste. Uh, I think it will be a couple of words, really. Kindness, mm. honesty, mm. and funny. I got you. Future plans. Do you still dream? Global. Thank you. Besides just being there as a personal thing, I believe, and I'm very strong in this belief, that my voice is needed. I'm not there to ask to be on the table with them, whatnot. They need me.